I work for a company that is over 200 years old, and it actually started in 1803, started in Millville, New Jersey, started off making cannonballs um, for the War of 1812. I'm glad we're not making cannonballs today and that we make meatballs instead. But the company has always been privately held, founding family, the Wood family, and it evolved from iron ore uh, to textiles back to iron ore. In fact, if you go to New Orleans and look at fire hydrants, mm -hmm. there's the name R.D. Wood. Mm -hmm. And as Dick Wood used to say, my predecessor, more dogs had lifted their legs on his name than any other trademark in the history of mankind. <laughs> but every business the family was in for the first 100 years went south. It moved south physically uh, and it went south financially mm -hmm. to the point where the family moved to Pennsylvania, uh, built a summer home uh, in Wawa and started a dairy basically as a hobby to keep busy. Mm -hmm. And the dairy turned out to be modestly successful. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the dairy led to the convenience store business when people didn't want home delivery. And the convenience store business, if you look over the past 200 years, has been the most successful business mm -hmm. that the family has had. So we've evolved from a small grocery store that was designed in 1964 to supplement the supermarket because it's hard to believe supermarkets weren't open on Sunday in the 60s because the blue laws weren't open at night. So convenience stores were that alternative uh, to a business that is more immediate consumption. I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I want cash, I want gas, and I want it now. Uh, and today we have 575 stores uh, in five states, predominantly uh, in New Jersey um, and Pennsylvania, but also in Delaware, Maryland, Virginia. And we just announced two weeks ago that two years from uh, now, uh, we'll be building stores in Florida uh, as a way of continuing our growth. Uh, but one commonality throughout our history has been private ownership. Um, we have a distinct culture, uh, and we feel that the culture will only succeed and be served by living our values and by private ownership. We think and operate as a public company uh, but we will always remain.